Now, a while ago, I was dreaming about the perfect smart home and being able to avoid the failures caused by radio interference. Most of the wired smart home systems, though, are super expensive. But I recently came across a company that provides relay boards that are really cost effective. So let's have a look. So this is an arm based device and has 32 relays and six binary inputs. It can be controlled using a whole lot of different modes. So it can be run on Tuya, Alexa, Google Home or HomeKit. But what I was really interested in was connecting via MQTT to this device using an ethernet cable. Having a look at the device, it's 117 by 206 by 40 millimeters. You can see we've got these two Wi-Fi antennas and our ethernet jack at the back here. It's powered by 12 volts DC and each of the 32 relays can operate at 250 volts at seven amps. Communication wise, we have ethernet, Wi-Fi one, which is used for two year, Wi-Fi 2 used for ESP32, we then have RS-232 and RS-484 and six dry contact inputs. Um, on this side over here, having a look, we've got each of the relay contacts broken into groups of four and these can be removed and they have screw terminals. We have the 32 relays over here. We have a little manual buttons for each of the relays. So that's quite useful, that can override. We have our ethernet port, we have LEDs displaying the status of each of the relays. We have our RS-485 ports here, the inputs for those um, wired inputs. We have our power supply, we have some LED indicators over here. We have some buttons for controlling various components, USB-C for programming, as well as our ESP32, we have two programmable LEDs. The device was really easy to set up. I disconnected a 12 volt power supply, the ethernet cable, and then went along to my router to find the IP address. Once I logged in, this is the screen that I came up and all you do is type in admin admin, which gets you into the ethernet setup page. They offer some pretty clear instructions as to how this to set this up. You effectively go in, select the work mode to be MQTT, type in the IP address of your home assistant server and the port as well as your username and password. Followed by this you save and then you go along set up your MQTT broker in home assistant. Once you've done this they offer you a template here to paste into your configuration YAML file in home assistant. I found out just to use the MQTT you don't need these lines over here. And then all you do is you basically go and you replace this number over here with the number that you find here, which is your UID. So once you've gone and you've pasted that into Home Assistant, restart Home Assistant, restart the device itself. And then if we go into Home Assistant and we search for our relay one, for example, there it is, and we can now control the relay. So in order to create a completely low powered, wired, smart home automation system for your lighting, you would effectively purchase these small boards from Kinkini. I haven't actually tried one of these as yet, but they do have a video online showing you how to use this. So effectively you would wire this in from the switch plate in each of the rooms back to the control board and this would then offer a complete hardwired low power control using the RS-485 bus system. Now Kinkini also has some other really cool looking boards. This one over here actually allows you to plug a Raspberry Pi command module 4 into the relay board. This one over here runs off an ESP32 where you can actually run ESP Home on the device. So there's all sorts of cool options here available on their website. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I found it really interesting having a look at these boards and imagining what could be done with them. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.